What's up boys and girls, C. Lopez back once again with another tutorialism and today I'm going to look at how you can replicate the note repeat function of the push without actually ordering a push and then some more on top. Okay, so when you're building up a track, it's quite important to pick the groove right at the beginning of the track making process. And this is where that note repeat function on the push just comes in so handy because you just literally you press down a button, or I'll press down a pad on the push, and you can just play about with the um, with the groove control, and you can get a groove straight away very easily that matches uh, the tempo of your song and other elements that you've already put into your track. So as you can see on this track here, I've just got a kick clap and some stabs that I played. Now I played the stabs without the quantize on and now I want to find a groove that will kind of match with uh, my weird timing stabs. And like I say, this is where I would usually use the note repeat on the push. Uh, as you can see right here, I don't have a push. Um, as one of you guys pointed out on YouTube, I live in a closet, uh, Hong Kong as the rest of you call it, and you see I have no space on my desk for a push, I've only got space for this tiny little archive keyboard thing here. So anyway, not to worry, uh, Ableton has us covered, as it usually does, so what I'm going to do is go to Packs here, and when the 9.5 update came out, there was also an updated version of this Max for Live Essentials, which you just get straight from the website, uh, no extra charge. And I'm going to go to uh, Max MIDI Effect in here and going to get this new arpeggiator. Now, obviously, Ableton already comes with an arpeggiator, but this Max for Live one is, well, it has extra functional and act extra functionality that the original arpeggiator doesn't have and one of those functionalities is this uh, swing amount here so what i'm going to do i'm going to play the track because i don't think i've played it yet i need to be able to hear my kind of stabs uh, that i want to find a groove that will fit to you cool and i'm just going to hold down a note And we're going to use this swing amount here to find a swing that kind of fits along with these stabs. So just click on it and move the mouse up. So I'm thinking down here, about 53, 52% sound kind of nice. Awesome. And there we have that note repeat function of the push. Uh, but obviously I'm not going to stop it there because there are some extra little things in this arpeggiator that I just think are really interesting and I just want to show you. Um, so obviously the first thing we have here is kind of like a, a step sequencer. So these squares along the bottom here are kind of just a note on, note off. And the bars going up and down are the different velocities. So as you can see by default, it gives us some um, nice little varied velocities there. And I was going to maybe turn off a couple of these notes if we can get just a, a little a nice little interesting pattern going. I'm just going to leave it at that, really, really simple. Awesome. And then I'm going to go down to this advanced tab here and just switch it on. And what we can do here is we can choose um, in a kind of another step sequencer type fashion how many octaves uh, or how, how many octaves the the arpeggiator will pitch this sample up and down uh, over how many steps. So I'm going to choose uh, these three steps here and on the second octave I'm going to 
pitch it down one octave and this one I'm gonna pitch it up one octave and let's have a listen to that. That's pretty cool there. So let's play that along so we can hear. Got kind of a, an almost kind of UK garagey type hi hat pattern, and this is just from one sample and one note being played on the keyboard here. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is this uh, map function here, which is also pretty goddamn cool. Because what we can do is we can map this arpeggiator to control any parameter within Ableton here. And what I'm going to do is map it to the fade in fade out so the fade in fade out is just a, a new function of the simpler and it just fades in uh, the sample so fades in volume wise and what i'm going to do is pull all these down so that there will be no fade in effectively But as you can see, it's still faded in on these off notes. We can you can see see it moving. We get quite a cool effect off of that. I'm gonna put some of these up and down a little bit, just to get a bit of a, a bit of variation in the in the hi hat pattern here. Nice. So let's record that in. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you can replicate the note repeat function of the push without having to push, and then some more using this awesome arpeggiator. Okay, so that's, that's, that's it for now. This is C. Lopez at Tutorialism. Peace. <laughs>